Just after midnight early Sunday morning over the wailing of police sirens, you can still hear the sound of screeching tires as drivers participate in illegal sideshows near Rincon Hill. Neighbors say scenes like this happen a lot here. It could be any day of the week. It could be a weekday, you know, so it's not just like, uh, you know, weekend nights. It's kind of any time. The intersection of Harrison and Maine is still marked with the circular tire skids from the spinouts. Some neighbors tell us the police response here has been underwhelming. When the police arrive, what, what usually happens? I think they just try to make sure nobody gets killed. <laughs> But I mean, they just it, it goes on and on until I don't know, probably 20 minutes. According to San Francisco police, no citations or arrests were made early Sunday morning, nor were there any reports of injuries. A police spokesperson says instead, investigators took notes on the plates on each car and will follow up later. Earlier this year, SFPD traffic enforcement started impounding vehicles investigators were able to identify at these events. But along with the danger of the Sunday morning spin out event, they also seem to attract vandals, like the ones that tagged properties at this intersection. Crews have already painted over graffiti on two walls. San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency crews will also have to repaint the crosswalks. According to the San Francisco MTA, it costs between three and five thousand dollars to repair the crosswalks that are damaged by each one of these sideshow events. Engineers at the San Francisco MTA say they're also going to begin installing new markers on streets, markers that had traditionally just been used to guide drivers in busy intersections. It's a strategy they're learning from Oakland, which has installed elevated traffic brakes and so-called bots dots in 10 different intersections. These small additions make it more difficult for cards to do donuts and spinouts. San Francisco engineers say it'll start with two intersections and see how it goes. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.